Hello, so in this very first of the ECG basics videos, we're going to look uh, at what the ECG leads are in a 12 lead ECG and which part of the heart they're looking at. So here's a 12 lead ECG. We've got 12 leads, six limb leads, six chest leads. The limb leads are one, two, three, AVR, AVL, AVF. And then we've got the chest leads V1 to six. By the end of this, in a few minutes, you're going to understand which direction each of these leads is looking in. So which part of the heart it's examining. And I'm going to show you a system to remember that so you never, ever forget it. So let's start with the limb leads and let's start with the easy ones. Leads one, two and three. Now, remember the practicality of how you actually get this recording. It's a voltmeter. It's recording voltage against time. And remember where you put your sticky labels. So you put sticky labels on the right shoulder, the left shoulder, the left foot, and you put the neutral on the right foot. For the purposes of this, you only need those three, right shoulder, left shoulder, and left foot. And for the first three leads, leads one, two, and three, we're literally just using one of those as negative, one of those as positive, and looking in the different directions. So I'm gonna stand up here. Lead one is looking from the right shoulder to the left shoulder. Dead simple, it's looking straight across. So you've got your negative electrode here, your positive electrode here, it's looking straight across and that's at zero degrees. Lead two is starting at your right shoulder and it's looking down to that one that you put on the left foot. It could be the left hip, it could be around here somewhere, um, but it's looking at that direction. So 60 degrees left and down, so kind of infralateral, isn't it? Looking inferiorly really, isn't it? Predominantly 60 degrees. And lead three starts at the left shoulder and is looking down towards the left foot. So it goes slightly in and that's why it's going at 120 degrees. It's looking mainly downwards. So it's an inferior lead. And that's what you've got with those three leads, lateral lead one and two inferior leads, lead two and three, because they're looking predominantly downwards. So how do we get leads AVR, AVL and AVF? Well, that's a little bit more complicated. For this, we're going to start by taking the average starting position between two electrodes and looking at the direction of travel towards another electrode. So let's take AVL for a start. And as a starting position with our negative electrode, we're gonna take the average between the right shoulder and the left foot. And we're gonna look at the flow of electricity up towards the left shoulder. So it's looking left laterally and slightly up. So slightly higher than lead one at minus 30 degrees, you can see approximately here. For lead AVF, we're going to look down to the floor. So L, of course, is for left. F is for floor. So this is looking straight down. AVF is taking the average starting position for the negative electrode between the right shoulder and left shoulder. And it's looking directly down to the foot. AVF, so it's going at approximately 90 degrees, straight down to the floor. And AVR is looking right because we've got R in the name. So that's taking the average between the left foot and the left shoulder and looking rightwards and slightly upwards towards the right shoulder. So that's a right-sided lead. So there you have it, all six limb leads. Uh, and we've got an easy way of remembering how we recorded them. We've also got the six chest leads. Now for those, let's imagine that our starting position is somewhere in the middle of the body. And we're basically looking out to where we put that electrode on the chest. So V1 slightly to the right of the sternum, V2 slightly to the left of the sternum, and then as we go across, of course, we go all the way across to V6, which is looking towards the mid axillary line. So that's why we've got anterior leads here, which we might call V1 to four and lateral leads V5 and six. And that is how we get our 12 lead ECG. So to finish, you might well be familiar with this diagram, which shows you the angle that each lead is looking at. And now we can understand how we got that. So we've got lead one going across at zero, two at 60, three at 120. And then we've got those augmented leads where we took an average AVL looking leftwards at minus 30, because it's upwards a little bit. AVF is looking straight down to the floor at 90 and AVR we might call minus 150. That's how we record the 12 lead ECG. That's how we remember where each lead is looking at in the heart. Thank you very much.